time is living and living time is a ribbon pulled there's a start there's a finish and a rainbow cynics of a flame throat lyrics in a straight row everybody goes down and spirits get low heavy bodies bound round cigarette rolls ashes to forget those past Hi, welcome back to Sensuality. Today I'm going to make another perfume uh, submitted by uh, the YouTube channel Babs Collection. This perfume is based on another well-known perfume. He has some uh, approximations of well-known perfumes. In the past I've made the Limal perfume, the Portofino perfume, and in my last video I made uh, the Aventus uh, perfume. Uh, now, you know, as I say, these are approximations. So a number of people contacted me on uh, the last video with regards to the Creed Aventus perfume, saying that this isn't the complete formula, etc. Well, I never thought that it was, and I, I, I don't think he ever says that it is either. In that last video, he said that that formula was 95% of um, what Creed Aventus is. Uh, and what I always do anyway is just make up the formula to the best of my ability. If I haven't got certain materials, I just, uh, substitute them for other things that are similar uh, and I add a bunch of my own notes because essentially what I want to do is just make my own perfume uh, but I you know want to see what other people are doing I want to know what a perfume is to them uh, I see how I feel about it I smell it I see what other notes you know uh, what inspiration I get for for other notes to add to the perfume and then I just personalize it and make it to my own tastes uh, so basically that's all I did with this uh, 4711 style cologne. This was one of his latest videos. Um, so this is basically, uh, well, it's a, it's a Neroli perfume basically and it's unisex. And um, yeah, I did the exact same thing. The things that I didn't have, I just substituted for similar things. And I added some things myself that I wanted to smell in there. And I really enjoy this one. It's uh, quite similar to, you know, I think the Portofino formulation, because it's Neroli, it, it has a similar sort of feel. Um, but the, 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 the approximation that I made, I say approximation, I've never smelled Portofino. Um, but I made uh, the formula of Babs collection to the best of my ability, substituted some molecules that I didn't have, added a bunch of my own notes. Um, uh, but yeah, it's quite similar to that. It's, it has the same freshness. I personally added a lot of dehydromersinol to the Portofino perfume. Uh, this one is definitely, uh, you know, it's, it's a very rounded um, Neroli perfume. Whereas my Portofino perfume, it, it was Neroli. Um, but it definitely had that, you know, big dehydromersinol hit in the top, etc. So it wasn't just Neroli, uh, it was, uh, you know, very citrusy in, in, uh, in a completely different uh, regard. So, yeah, but a fantastic perfume, this uh, 4711 uh, style cologne. Now, what I did is I added 10 drops of orange crystals. I added six drops of citronellol. I added two drops of hydroxy citronellol, two drops of geraniol, two drops of linalool, two drops of lemon, two drops of citrathol. I added two drops of dehydromersinol, six drops of iso -E super, one drop of methyl anthranolate, six drops of an ambergris perfume oil, two drops of a linalool based basil, and two drops of caraway seed. And I'm really happy with it. it it's, um, it's a really nice uh, cologne, uh, but you know, I've made it into um, an EDT. And what I would say is it's incredibly diffusive. It really sticks to your skin. It really sticks to your clothing. Um, and it really hits all of the, the buttons, you know, it, it kind of gives you what everybody wants from a perfume. It's long lasting, uh, it's very pleasant, it's not in your face, it's not obtrusive, it's not aggressive, it's very smooth, it's very linear. Um, and yeah, who doesn't like the smell of, of Neroli? Who doesn't like the smell of orange blossom? Uh, it's, a, it's a classic, um, it's a classic perfume ingredient. Uh, yeah, so I really, really enjoy this one. And with regards to um, 
the Creed Aventus approximation. In my last video, I explained how I wasn't, you know, 100% in love with the, the, the combination of notes. However, after a few days of um, the perfume, um, you know, just maturing a little bit and after a few days of me, of me wearing it, uh, I just really enjoyed it, you know. Um, a few people said this, you know, is not the whole formula for Creed Aventus and there are lots of notes missing. Um, as I said, I haven't smelled it before, so I, so I have no idea. However, I do like this perfume specifically, the formula that he shared. I added a few things to it, but essentially it's, it's the same sort of smell, you know. Um, and I really do enjoy it. It's a really interesting combination of notes. Um, and I've never really used Amyl Al Ah. Amyl Alyl Glycolate. I've never really successfully used it in a perfume before where I actually liked its presence. Uh, so this is very interesting for me. And as I said in the last video, it's given me lots of inspiration for playing around with, with these combination of notes uh, and just maybe in different ratios. Um, uh, yeah, but uh, I just really wanted to mention that it, it has grown on me and I really do enjoy it. So that's it for this video. I'll be back shortly with another one. It's going to be approximately two weeks after the posting of this video. I'm pre-recording this video um, because I'm moving. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for me to get things set up uh, and to get another video recorded. But please stick with my channel. As I said, about two weeks maximum after the posting of this video and uh, I'll get back to sharing some, some new videos. Thanks for watching. Have fun in the meantime and I'll see you shortly.